Hey guys, welcome to another photography tutorial. In this Luminar Neo software, I have seen some new tools recently. The three of them, they are generative tools. One is Gen Erase, two is Gen Swap, and third is the Gen Expand. I am curious to try out, you know, each of them and to see how good are they. So the gen erase if i understand correctly it probably is to erase something uh, using artificial intelligence so if that's good uh, then that'll be very interesting so i'm going to try out in one of my photos that i've taken not too long ago when i say not too long ago but it's in 2029 in venice so we have a lot of boats so it would be interesting to see exactly, for example, if you want to erase any of the boats, you still have, you know, the wave of water. And the thing is, it has to be perfect if you're using the artificial intelligence. So let's try out and see how exactly they are going to work. So I'm going to try out something, let's say, simple and easy to erase. The reason why I said easy, it's because they are independent object. They are not attached or cramped with something else. For instance, this one there, it would be very difficult to erase, I imagine, because, you know, it's against other other things and other objects where the boats that are floating, that would be very easy to, you know, the, get rid of. So let's try out erase. It might take some time. It says to get better resolution, select and erase just one object at a time. So let's take a look. By the way, while you're waiting, please go down in the description below and then try out the software yourself. So interesting, <laughs> instead of... Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, instead of uh, erasing the self, the object, it, um, it, it, it kind of um, turned it in the opposite direction. So that was before, after. So what did it do exactly? It gave me a boat that didn't exist before. Right. Um, it has this information button, say, remove unwanted elements from your image while seamlessly filling the gaps with textures or elements that match the surrounding area. Okay, so if I understand that it will not completely eliminate the object, but it will replace it with something else, which is kind of, you know, matches with the, with the surrounding. So it's, it not, doesn't necessarily completely eliminate anything, it just replaces it. Essentially, it's, it's, it's actually in very smart if you think about it, because not only uh, it's erasing whatever you don't want something to be present in the image, but because sometimes it leaves behind a weird, uh, weird uh, effects. To avoid that, it, it it replaces it with something that uh, matches with the image. So if I in that case, I'm going to try out something else. For instance, something more complex. We're going to try out this time, this thing, this little boat in Venice. Ba, ba, ba. So, if I do perfectly do that, takes some time, but just for the sake of, uh, it can be more precise, but just for the sake of this tutorial, on this video I'm going to try it out and now let's do raise again while you're waiting I highly recommend you to go down in the description below and uh, now try it for yourself Right, so it replaced the boat with something similar to the other uh, other boat. 
So hang on a second. Right, so it does feel like that it, the boat was there already before. So before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Before and after. So yeah, it does the job quite interesting. It's interesting. It's strange. It's funny. But as well, I believe that it does not do a, it does not replace uh, just like a, you do in a Photoshop with a professional expert. But for a nice and quick change, it does a fantastic job though. So we don't have to waste too much time, you know, minutes or hours. You just brush and go. Right. So that's the first of the generative tools. Now, the second one would be generative swap. For that, let's try some other image, for instance. Uh, I don't know which one is would be good enough. So give me one second. I'm going to find out a new image. So I'm going to take a pause and then find new photos. That is enough for that. Now, welcome back. I just found some photos probably adequate for the second test, which is the generative swap. So the first one would be, you know, I don't know exactly what it does, to be honest, but I'm imagining that it probably replacing one object with another. So in that case, let's say I have this boat. Now, if I click the generative swap, then if I click at the information that replace a specific elements of your image with high quality AI generated visuals that harmonize with the rest of your photos. I don't really understand the swap part with the erase part because it kind of did exactly the same thing if I understand. Simply input your prompt and watch the magic. Aha, so there is a prompt. So the erase, it choose itself. The swap, you can add a prompt. So let's try it out. So I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Then let's say I change select just for the sake of now. What do you envision here? Let's say hmm, do you have any idea? Because I don't. I would say F Fisherman. Right. So nouns describing exactly what you want to see. For example, blue sea, big tiger. That's awesome, actually. I quite like it. So Luminar Neo is actually not trying to compete with big names. Ah! big names such as DxO or Adobe, instead it's envisioning itself as a creative tool. If I, if I, if I, if I understand correctly. So that's something that makes sense here. One hundred and twenty five. I don't know what that means though. There's a round thing on the side. So let's try before and after. Or let's do pa, 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 pa. let's let's go back and do um I'm I'm thinking that's why I'm having a silence issue. Let's say something crazy. Um, a hippo. Let's try. Uh, let's try. Could be interesting. Again, I highly recommend you to go down in the description below and then try it out for yourself. It's quite awesome. So yeah, it did quite a reasonable job. I would say 
even the, if you look at the shadow, it did a good job with the shadow because the sunshine is coming from the top. So it did a good job, you know, of doing a shadow because imagine that if the light is coming that direction instead, that would be strange in my opinion. So right, so let's move on to the next, next uh, tool, which is the expand. So that the name gives away a lot. Actually, before I go there, I want to try it once. So that's me, by the way. So I want to swap myself with something. That'd be fun. So let's select me. <coughs> Again, I'm doing just a lousy job with the selection tool. I could do better. But just for the sake of this tutorial, a video, I'm sorry. I'm going to just do a, a quick, quick and easy job. So, I have selected myself. And I'm going to change myself with, because, let's let you know, the background is the Chateau Versailles in France. So I'm going to change myself. Louis... 14 let's see the real real emperor of france i don't know if i wrote the i made the spelling correct anyway and that would be interesting to know oh hang on a second okay guys it did not swap me, but it did a job eliminating me completely. And holy shit, is it, uh, it did a good job. I'm sorry for the language, but goddamn. So that's me before, that's after, before, after, before, after, before, after. I cannot stop. Somebody have to stop me because this is bloody good job. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit with the detail before and after i sincerely am shocked i was not ready for that i thought that i would be changed with something somebody else king of france I'm having a good time. I, I know that I'm trying to record a video for you and it's been 12 minutes, the, no, 13 minutes I've been talking about it. But boy, oh boy, isn't it a jolly good software? So I don't know. I, I think if I understand correctly, if the artificial intelligence do not understand your prompt, only the what it does just simply get rid of... Uh, uh, the object instead and it does a fantastic job because if you look at the pillar behind which you know look at look at this that's me and background it just came out of nowhere and i'm pretty sure that uh, they have a lot of image of chateau versailles in their stock and it was easy for the software to just replace me with the object you know what? Brilliant. I'm quite satisfied, even though I wasn't ready for the result, though. But I gotta say, he did a good job. Now, next tool. The expand. Let's go all the way. And expand. I'm gonna say again, it's coming. Just apologize, I just had to take a quick pause because my daughter just woke up. Anyway, I'm back. Anyway, so that's the expand. And again, uh, it did a pretty good job on the left and right. So if I go upward and click again, I 
So let's try. It's amazing because if you think about it, uh, you probably have other tools such as um, chat GPT or something and generative AI tools. But here, you know, you don't have to go and then see for them. Probably you can just use it right here in Lumina Neo, which is the pioneer of AI generated um, art. So let's take a look. Well, now it all of a sudden became a scene from Star Wars. That's interesting. If I click here, so extend the boundaries of your photos, adding new dimension with the original composition with the AI generated visuals, broaden your perspective, break free from the traditional expected features, unlock the new level of creativity. Okay, creativity. At least they're honest about it, creativity. So I can do Star Wars. Again, during this waiting period, I invite you to go down in the description below and try out the software by yourself. It's taking a while, but apologies for the delay. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that actually you don't need Photoshop anymore. You can actually just do a quick and easy uh, um, we can easy, um, you know, Photoshop work just with the prompt, which is quite nice. If you're looking for marketing tools or some kind of creative tools to create your artwork. Now, I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to say that, you know, I highly recommend you to try out the generative tools, the Gen Erase, the Gen Swap and Gen Expand. They seem pretty awesome. You know, they are fun to use and probably is good for some creative work for your website or creating logos and even for your photos. And as you saw earlier, it did a good job even removing the object perfectly. So great tools, highly recommend it and hope that uh, this video has been fun for you. It's definitely was fun for me, that's for sure. Take care of yourself and bye-bye. Uh,